In this episode, I'm going to give you some amazing safari presets. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Ramley. I'm a French photographer from the amazing city of Paris, France. But right now I'm in Africa and I'm going to give you some presets that you can use in Lightroom, Classic, Lightroom CC and Photoshop. These are Safari presets. You can download the preset below this video. I'm going to show you how to install them. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the little subscribe button and click the little bell so you get a notification every time I make a video. All right, guys, so let me show you how this Safari preset actually work. All right, guys, so I want to give you some Safari preset that I've created. I'm right now in South Africa, Johannesburg, and I did a, a little Safari in the Kruger Park, close to the Kruger Park, beautiful area. And I've always dreamed all my life to do this, and I had an opportunity, and I did it. I want to show you some of my favorite photos and, um, well, the presets I've been using to create it. So I created a whole bunch of presets. They are basically very dramatic and they're either warm or they are cold, but they work really well, you know, for some landscapes and, you know, that type of photography. So, for example, on this photo, which are elephants walking away from me uh, after we fed them, I, um, you know, you can go here. As I'll show you later on how to install them. So you have a Safari group. But for example, I can go here to Safari Warm Dramatic, which is a very dramatic uh, and warm uh, filter. I think it works well for Africa, you know, because Africa is warm, plus it's summer here. You can go lighter, Safari Warm Dramatic Light, it's less lighter. Or you can go for Safari Warm Dramatic Strong or Safari Warm Simple, which has less contrast, less vignette effect. Or you can go the opposite. You can go uh, Safari Vignette Cold Strong, Lighter called strong medium so on this one i think i'm going to uh, use the safari warm dramatic and again you know this is just uh you know this is just a beginning you know this is just uh, don't you know the preset is going to give you a look it's going to do a lot of things for you but for example here i would like the elephants to be a little brighter so i can always make a little circle uh, i have to inverse the circle okay so i clicked here on, on the circle and then in this circle, I can just, you know, add a bit of exposure, not so much. Usually, I try to not go over 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is a good value uh, because it's going to make it brighter, but it's not going to be in your face brighter. So let me show you the before and after that little circle. Before, after. You see, I just made, you know, and on this one, maybe I would even crop it and go 16 by 9 because the gallery I work with, works this thing by nine and it makes the, the elephant slightly closer. I think I like that. Okay, the next one was an elephant who was about to drink. And so on this one, I think I'm gonna go warm also. Uh, yeah, warm, dramatic, light, so maybe dramatic, strong. I think I'm gonna go dramatic, strong on this one. And again, you know, I can take a little brush and um, I like to do that two, zero. So I like to overdo it first, you know, I, I go like around one. And then I, I make sure my flow and density is in the 70s. And I can just, you know, brush, make this uh, uh, elephant a little more interesting. So you look for you look for parts which are kind of bright and you make them a little, a little tiny brighter. And that's just going to give something, it's going to, and I'm overdoing it right now so you can see it well on the video. Then I'm usually going back, uh, you know, at 0 0.5 or something. Look how sharp this photo is. Shot with the Sony A7R 3 See, it's a little too much. But if you go back under the 0 0.5 mark, you're good. And it just makes a subtle, more interesting elephant. Okay, before, after. You know, slightly large and, you know, mm, I like it. Okay, and the next one is, uh, well, the elephant drinking. Let's try, let's try, uh, uh, you know, Let's try this one, Safari Animal Vignette called Strong, just for the fun of it, you know, make it very strong. And this one I think is too bright, so I can, you know, I can lower the, the overall photo, I can make a circle on his face, I already have circles. Okay, so some of my presets have circles, so you can just put them on something which is interesting, in this case, the elephant. So you always have to make sure when you use one of these presets to do that. So it's a complete thing, and I can go, oh no, you know what, I wanna go back to very warm, dramatic. Uh, okay, let's go with a strong one. Boom, same idea. And on this one, I don't think it's got circles. Yeah, it's got one circle. 
so this circle I can put it here make it smaller and uh, put it over the elephant so that he stands out because he's the star of the photo and you know s preset is just fun and you know download them and try them now I got really lucky we got a lion uh, that was uh, a few feet away sleeping but then it started walking toward us so that's the photo of the lion kind of sleeping uh, far I think on this one I went something more blue um, let's see here cold strong lighter uh, the the version of, of Lightroom that I'm using by the way and, and it's important that you is over 7 7.4 7 because one of the of the release I forgot when it was I guess it was around 7 is that when you go through the different preset you can see them uh, you can see them in um, you, you know the preview in a big preview before you could only see them in the small in that small screen here I think I want to I think I want to go blue on this one I think I want to go yeah a safari but this one I really want to zoom in more I mean I know I've got lots of pixels so you know what I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna recrop the photo and uh, you know play with the rule of third so that he's not centered and voila Z my friend the lion sleeping and uh, so that was the lion let me reset this. That's a line coming toward us. Uh, apparently, it's very unusual that they come. So, I mean, he was literally a meter away from me. I kind of got scared, to be honest, because we had all these safety briefing that they're very dangerous and you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't talk to them and blah, blah, blah. And so on this one, I, uh, the other one, I, I went warm on this one. Yeah, I use Safari, you know, warm, dramatic light. All right. So that's the preset. Um, I think they're pretty awesome. Some of the best presets I've done. So to install preset. And the good thing is that the way I'm going to show it to you, it can work in Lightroom CC, it can work in Lightroom Classic, it, it can work in Photoshop, uh, it works everywhere. So again, make sure that you have Lightroom 7 and above because the way presets are being handled by Adobe completely changed around Lightroom 7. Before it used to be the, uh, some L Air, it was called L Air template files. Now it's XMP files. Okay, so the way you install, you see you have a folder called Safari with like the 10 preset there. So you just go here, import preset. I'm gonna give you a folder called Safari and you will see there is all the preset there in XMP. And all you have to do is click on the folder, select all of them with um, shift by clicking the first one and the last one and click on import. I don't do it because I've already done it and that's it's gonna be there. Now, if you wanna use them on your phone, you're taking photos on your phone and you wanna use presets, you can. But you have to install them through Lightroom CC. So Lightroom CC, all you have to do to go to preset is uh, first, well, you click here on the libraries, you click on this little icon here, which is called preset, you click on the word preset here, and then you've got three dots. You take the three dots and you click on import preset. Same idea, you select the first one, you select the last one, and you click on import, and it's going to import them. I've already done it, and you can see they are here, and I could play around, well, this is a Venice photo, but look, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool what this preset can do. So it's there. Now, if you are in Photoshop, let's say you're not a Lightroom user. Well, if you're not a Lightroom user, uh, it's a little harder. If you have Lightroom on your computer, uh, what I really advise you is to ins go to Lightroom Classic. If it is just to install preset, make sure you have Lightroom 7 and above and you used this technique of importing preset because if you do, it's going to appear automatically in Photoshop. Now, Photoshop Camera Row and Lightroom share the preset with this new XMP files. But again, I'm using Camera Row 11 and I'm using Lightroom 7 and above. So make sure you have that. Uh, in case you don't, so you see, uh, here I am in Camera Row, I've got this photo and it's got the preset there and I can even go over and, and, and it does it. Now, if for some reason you don't have Lightroom, you don't want to install Lightroom, you only want to use Photoshop, and you don't want to, you know, you just don't want to hear about Lightroom, well, my friend, then you have to install them one by one. You click here, and you click on Load Settings, and that's going to open uh, a file, and then you can, but on this one, you can only select one by one. Click Load. So you have to select them one by one, and it's only 10. Uh, so that's for people who hate Lightroom and only use Photoshop. Um, also, the fact that you've put them, in, I forgot to say that, but when you put them in Lightroom CC, they will be automatically on your Lightroom mobile. So that's kind of cool. They will be there because you've imported them in Lightroom CC because Lightroom CC works with Lightroom mobile on an iPad, on an iPhone. So that's how you can get all my presets. The link is below the video. Uh, it's free. It's for you. It's, um, you know, 
I, I really love these presets. I really, uh, I'm very happy with the photos that I got from the Safari. And I hope you can enjoy them, tweak them around. It's just a starting point. Have fun. The link is below the video to download the presets. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to download the preset and install them. And if you like this video, please give it a little love. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button and the little bell so you get a notification every time I make a video. Mesdames et messieurs, I will see you in another video.